What's up, my name is Spencer, and in this video, I'm gonna be showing you my lower third title pack. They're self-resizing, so they auto-adjust to anything you type in them. The pack comes with five different files, two lower third styles with the left and right justified file, as well as a subtitle or caption file. This is by far my most used uh, tool in Premiere uh, in a ton of different use cases. And for the first 50 people, it's gonna be completely free. And then after that, the pack is gonna cost $3. So I'm just gonna run through really quickly on what you're gonna get in the pack and how to use everything. So let's hop onto the computer in Premiere and I'll run you through everything. Okay, so in Premiere, you can just type corp, uh, short for corporate um, and for the whole pack that you just downloaded or L3 for just the titles um, But for right now, it, this is a pretty simple pack But I just wanted to go through just to make sure you guys knew how to use everything just in case So let's start with the easiest one first um, subtitles uh, or captions Sometimes I'll hard code stuff for clients and I don't want to use the built-in subtitle feature in Premiere So I'll usually just create my own and this is my go-to uh, one for most video because you can overlay um, with this box here and uh, There you go color control opacity I'll usually drop that down so you can kind of see through it and then you have the option to add more padding up top and the nice thing here is you can just keep adding lines and uh, adjust your line spacing if you want to and really fine tune everything in you know like, let's just add another line and uh, keep that line spacing going so yeah you can dial that in and then um, just keep cutting and making new ones right and rate stretch it to whatever you need it to be that's uh, the simple way to get it across your entire timeline is using the right stretch. Okay, back to the corporate pack. I'm just gonna start with the more simple one here. Um, let's just drag them both so you can see them really quick. Uh, they're in 4K, remember to resize. And they're the same just on one's left and one's right, depending on what, what angle your speaker's at. Okay, so just to dive in, master position, master scale, and a little reminder to resize. I'm just gonna edit the text real quick. I just changed the text and I'll start going through everything. So you got the color, tracking amount, which just edits the spacing a little bit, opacity, and the exact same thing for uh, the second line, except you have the vertical spacing. So you can either go more up, or in this case, we need to go a little bit down. And let's just make that a little bit smaller here. I just made the text a little bit smaller and then you can fine tune exactly how far you want uh, you want your second line to be spaced from the first line. And uh, the nice thing about this is the the line stays stuck to the top of the text and the bottom of the line stays stuck to the bottom text. So it'll just grow and shrink as you edit it. You can also edit the line as you wish. So if you want it a little bit thicker, you want to change the color, uh, you want to push it back or closer, add some top padding, you got it all. And uh, the animation will stay intact. I spent a lot of time fine tuning the animation so you could actually edit all that stuff. So most lower thirds I'll just animate in and fade out or cut when I go to b-roll. Um, but if you want it to animate out if your speaker is speaking for a long time, just duplicate it, hit reverse, and there you go. Okay, so that is the line. Quick and simple, but it usually gets the job done. And then here is the box. And again, same thing, 4K, set to frame size. And here's what this one looks like. This also has a right equivalent as well. So on both of these, you have the left and the right. And it just has a little bit more. You got two boxes here. Don't worry, you can turn that box off just to keep it nice and plain. Um, you can animate the, the roundness and the width and the height of the actual box. And you can also do individual sides. If you just wanna grow the left or the right or the top of the bottom, you can do that. And also added a stroke in here as well. I'll just make that a little thicker so you can see it. Yeah, so you could just have that if you wanted to. And I added the second box just to give you something different, you know? You know something like this you don't see a lot, but I think it's kind of cool. Um, and yeah, let's just do the same thing. I'm just gonna edit this quick. 
and again totally resizes to fit uh, yeah you can adjust a lot within this one both of them can be used in a variety of ways and yeah just play around with them it would be super boring to watch me go through every single control through all of this stuff but um yeah i hope you guys get a lot of use out of it thanks for watching this video and if you have any suggestions um on what kind of mogurts you would want to see in the future just drop me a comment below thanks